Ah, alrighty then. Hey, this is Wentis yet again, and I'm going to be continuing my let's play of Pikmin, messing up my intro once again. So yes, we're going to be returning to Distant Spring right away in this episode, and I forgot to plan things out in between episodes, which I was planning on doing, which I did not do, so going to be winging it once more. Actually, I have a vague plan in mind, so let's just draw, I'm going to say 40 blues, and while they're coming out, we'll pluck these, 40 blues, there's 40 reds, and we're going to be taking on that armored cannon beetle right off the bat. So. Let's just get moving with that. Oh wow, I happened to guess it just right. I had a feeling there would be 10 reds in, left in the ground and I'd have an even 50, and I was right. What is that noise? What the? Not sure what that is. My headphones block sound, but I felt like a vibration in the floor, so I thought maybe like there's a loud car going by. Oh well. By the way, if you're Let's Playing, I highly recommend getting those headphones that block out sound. They're very helpful for helping you focus. Alright, let's see if we can just rush this guy. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ow! He just shook and hurt me. No, 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 no. D stop that, stop that, stop that, stop, stop not dying. There we go, we lost. What the? We have 47 Pikmin in our party out of the 46 on the field, according to that little map down there. Apparently when one of the Pikmin was being eaten by the thing and we saved it, it bugged the game out. <laughs> awesome. So that's the first time I've really seen Pikmin glitch other than that lag with I told you about. Well actually there is one other glitch I've seen before. Oh no! Oh you dead now! I'ma kill you! Come on! Bring it on! Come on, that's right! Come my Pikmin, come! Now get him! No, don't get a don't get his shell! Get him there! Kill him! Kill him, Avenger Fallen Brothers! Get him! Oh, they almost got him. Alright, come on. Let's kill him! Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now get behind him again. And stop attacking the shiny shell. Just because it's shiny doesn't mean you should attack it. Alright, come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Kill him! Kill him! Well done. I've discovered a bowsprit. With this piece installed, my ship should regain some of its sleek shape. Yep, that's about all it does, but it is required. So let's bring it back immediately. Ooh, we only have 33 Pikmin. Wow, that took a good chunk of our Pikmin out. Yeesh. Don't worry, guys. We'll carry back his corpse in a moment. We will have our revenge. Wait, why are you carrying him? Oh, we have to build a bridge, don't we? I forgot about that. And we're going to have to break down that wall, too. Hey. So. There's still Pikmin following me? Yeah, I guess the game just bugged. Ow, 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 get me off of this, ow, jeez. Wow, fire does some damage in this game. Whew, that's pretty bad, actually. Alright, for now we're just going to ignore that, head back to our ship. Oh, I thought that was straight away. I'm going to ignore that. I guess when I'm at the ship, ship I'll repair. We did kill this thing, right? Yeah, it's dead. We'll be carrying back quite a few things for our res today, just to get their population back up. And one thing I do like that it's in this game, it doesn't do this in the second game, is that you can check the ship and repair your suit. So that is a nice feature. In case you don't know if the suit breaks, ah, uh, Olimar will just collapse and the day will end. He'll just wake up next to a ship at nightfall and any Pikmin you had with you will be left behind. So, um, Let's see how many we're getting. Actually, let's bring out some yellows. I'm gonna say 21, like before. Let's get the guys out. And I like how sometimes they just jump off from the top. Oh, those guys over there are already done. Oh, actually, I'll leave the yellows here for now. A lot of walking back and forth in this episode, but there should be at least one ship part gone by day's end. So, we're gonna be good there. We're also going to make progress. I hear a weird bubbly noise. Alright, now. Ooh. I get them on that. Mm. Oh, why didn't they attack it? Go on, get it. Kill the wall. There we go. That takes care of them. 
And they'll take out those sheer grub whenever they finish that wall. So we're good there. And let's see, where to next? Um. Oh yeah, we have the yellows. We're gonna have them get some bombs and tear down a couple walls. So let's go get them. And let's see, where to? So you just go to those little skulls on the other side. I believe that black one should be. Oh, I thought the bull bear would be uh, respawned by this day, but I guess not. So let's just get our bomb rocks as per usual. I think the number of bomb rocks varies from day to day, but I'm not sure on that. So come on, guys. Is there a bomb rock in the ground? Hmm, that was weird. Oh well, let's keep moving on with all our bombs now. We're gonna tear down the wall on the left side over there. So let's see, how many ship parts are left in this area? This whole side of it where the ship is, is done. There's the one from the armored cannon beetle. I think I remember how to get that one. Uh, that one, I'm not sure if I remember how to get. So yes, we still got plenty of them to get in this. We might still be able to get one more in this episode if I do it right. So we're going to be going over this way. And, um, hmm, let's see, ooh. That bull bear may be trouble. We're going to ignore him for now. Worst comes to worst, we got a ton of bomb rock. So one, two, three. Yeah, I definitely know how to get that. Come on, this one can't be as strong as the other. Apparently it is as strong as the other. There we go. Alright. Probably gonna have our blues start building those bridges very soon. If I remember correctly... No. No, I don't remember correctly. Now this is a tough wall right here, so we're just gonna break it down with bombs. Oh, no, no, no. Get off of that, guys. Get off of it. Get off of it! No, don't go over there! I'm telling it to throw bombs, not regular Pikmin. I hate how buggy that is. Oh well, three bombs can take down those real, those tough regular walls. So I highly recommend using bombs on them when you can. What we're gonna do here. We're gonna chase these guys out of the ground. Throw yellows like crazy in hopes to hit one of them. Ooh, he got one of them. So at the very least, We've taken down all three of these guys. And what we're gonna do is ignore our reds for now. Have uh, most of our yellows get onto this. So that gets them taken care of. We can have our reds join them. At least most of our reds. Let's see, we should have enough left over. Yep. And we're gonna have these reds carry this back. So we're splitting up our work a bit, making it so that each thing gets carried slower, but more stuff gets carried in total. I can live with that. And while they're doing that, luckily they're choosing the smart path for once, the path that's been cleared. We're going to go over here, and uh, we're going to get our blues started on those bridges. Now, there's one thing I should mention now is that you saw that big red flower there, and I believe there's a blue flower over by where the massage machine was. Now what those do, those, when you throw, let's say, a red Pikmin into a blue flower, it'll throw out a blue Pikmin sprout. So yes, you can turn Pikmin into other types of Pikmin using those flowers. It's very useful, and I believe it's actually required in one area of this. Now these rock things here can also be used to get nectar just like the grass. See, I think they're a little less likely to come up with anything, though. So, uh, I wouldn't be so reliant on them. Still, if you need some extra nectar, uh, they're good to go with. For some reason, I think I think they take a bit longer than grass plucking, but not by much. Oh, they got that ship part back, so we have succeeded in getting one ship part in this episode. Bowsprit, the so-called face of the dolphin. In point of fact, I designed it. So yes, he designed that thing. That's kind of cool. I've got 16 or 30 ship parts. Yes, 13 more left. 
So that means there's only 14 left in the game. We are more than halfway there now. Now, we're gonna take out this Wallywog to start off. Oh wait, this rushing strategy doesn't work with Wallywogs, I forgot. You can kill them that way, but it tends to get a lot of your Pikmin killed. That's why the death stats on my reds is, are pretty high earlier in the day on that episode I lost. It's because I tried rushing a Wallywog with reds, thinking, oh, I'll just kill him before he can even jump. Nope, he jumped right before he ran out of health, crushed almost all my reds I had with me. Man, I always throw two over what I need. Okay, one over that time. Ooh, audio lag. Oh well. Let's see. Yeah, to get this one, you need to have some blues. Oh, wow, didn't know those guys were there. And one of them went into the water. Huh. They hit it twice and it drowned. How convenient. Alright, let's have them get to work on that. Mm. Gonna have a few of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. Gonna need a couple more, yeah. There we go, plenty. I uh, have a couple more of these guys carry back the Wallywog so we can get a few of our blue pe Pikmin back. Hopefully as many as the Wallywog took from us. Ooh. That could be bad. Let's see, I believe there's actually a glitch you can perform. Let's see if this works. Yep, it works. You see, the glitch is that you walk, sit down in front of those guys, and they'll attack you repeatedly and they cannot damage you. And you can, that allows your Pikmin to get past. So it's very useful to say the least. If performed correctly, that is. If you do it wrong, that's very bad. So, um... I said we were going to have our reds carry back the body of that armored cambio. Oh, I didn't realize we had yellows with us as well. Uh, stop plucking grass. So, gonna take you guys. Gonna put our yellows away. And I think I will have them carry back that armored cannon beetle, just because revenge. So let's get going that way. And by the way, I figured out what that pounding was in the last episode. It was the armored cannon beetle. It makes those pounding noises when it walks around. Let's see. Let's see, our blues are doing that. Have our reds go through here. Be careful of fire because we have blues with us. Okay. Hug the wall, hug the wall. And we're good. Alright, it should be safe to bring these through. Yeah, I'd say. These are yellows went back with that ship part, and they were fine. So, just gonna have them carry that back. They'll make it with plenty of time to spare before the day ends. So, we're gonna go this way. Actually, we're gonna take a chunk of those guys off. Ooh, not that big of a chunk. <sighs> that should be plenty. And have them start on the other end of the bridge. That way we can have both ends going. Whoa! Do not want to deal with those right now. Okay, go this way. Glad we made that shortcut. Oh, and our blues have already finished that. We might be able to get this bridge finished and that ship part partially carried back before the end of the day. That would be nice. Assuming our reds can make it back to the ship. All right, have you guys. By the way, that other side is most of the bridge. So I recommend doing the opposite side first if, there's, if you have the time to do it and save this one for next. Alright. Let's see how those guys are doing over there. I think they'll make it back with plenty of time to spare. No random Pikmin scattered about. So, let's just stay here with these guys while they build to make sure they do not get left behind because this would be a pretty heavy loss. Let's see how fast we're going. Uh, I'm actually a bit worried now. I'm not sure if they'll make it back in time. I'm really hoping they will. Hmm. Well, here's hoping. I'm actually kind of nervous about that now, so I'm probably going to keep checking it. Oh no, they're going to make it. 
As soon as I say that, the timer starts. Timer of doom. Eat. Oh, good, they finished. So... Yeah, not gonna bother carrying that shit part back at all this episode. Just because they'll probably just end up causing us trouble. Ooh. Oh, oh. they made it. They made it. That was close. Alright. I think we have all of our Pikmin with us. Whew. That had me worried for a minute there. But, everything's K. Okay. So, we managed to get a ship part in this episode. We increased our populations of reds and blues. Well, our blues might... No, I think we increased our populations of blues. So... We made decent progress, and we managed to get that bridge built, so we'll be able to get another ship part right off the bat tomorrow. So, yeah, and I figured out that a glitch that I read about actually works. I wasn't sure because I'd never tried it. And the weird mouth bug. Ten days since impact. Oh, horrors. A bomb rock explosion engulfed my Pikmin. That last horrifying expression is burnt into my memory. I must review my procedures for handling bomb... Pikmin with bomb rocks so that I do not repeat this mistake. This is explaining stuff. That's basically instructions if you screw up. So yeah. Wow, we got significant increase in Pikmin today. Our blues went down slightly, yellows went down by one that exploded. But our reds went up significantly. We're up to 226 reds, I think. I'm gonna want actually at least 300 reds for something coming up. Just from past experience. As a precaution. So. What we're going to be doing next episode is going back to the Forest of Hope, actually. So yes, making some backtracking. And, let's see, this is day 10. Yeah, there will be plenty of time. So, this is going to be... Next episode, we're going to go back to Forest of Hope and finish up that area. Actually, hmm... No, we're going back to the Forest Naval. That's where we're going next episode. So... Hope you enjoyed this episode. This has been Wentis. Comments are always appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time for more Pikmin.